Today's music workshop, if you would like to participate in the workshop, it is here. If you would like to kind of go somewhere and work with other people to do some dev stuff, you can do it elsewhere. Uh, what was the room? Uh, there's a room right across in Cox Hall 209 that is open right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody's sitting far, far, far enough apart that it looks like we're all probably here for this. Super I do. I got like thirteen more. My dude just popped in, so it's like I'm gonna crochet. Yeah, it's, 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 it's quietly crocheting in the background, and he's the only one not doing music. I think I'm fine with. I think that's pretty. Cool. Yeah. Yes. If we if we want, we can go ahead and get started with some of our announcements today. I think. Uh, all right. Well, uh, first of all, uh, t-shirt contest uh, is uh, still going on. We have two more weeks left in that. There is a form that is now available. It was sent out an announcement earlier today. We also have a little QR code if you'd want to scan it right now. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask myself or Carson. Uh, the submissions, as a reminder, are due on the 14th. That's two weeks from now at seven o'clock, right before meeting. Uh, after that point, there will be uh, uh, we'll set up a form for you all to vote on what your favorites will be, uh, and all that fun stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, if we've gotten that out of the way, uh, right, next so uh, right uh, is the Beambo Workshop. Jaden, if you want to talk a little bit about that. This has allowed us to do a plushy workshop, so that we are able to supply the fabric and cotton and ties. Um, I'll be leading that, and it's completely free. Uh, I'm aware it's on Valentine's Day. It will be before the club. Uh, if you have a plus one, let me know. Uh, let us know through the form. Other than that, uh, try to go and either you're not a student or who you want to bring is not a student. Um, DM me or I can see if you're still allowed to come. You're fine. You work at the main space. So, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Someone else just let me know. Um, I can see if we can still bring them along, but we're going to have preference when I say for a few people. So, yeah. So, all ready, and there's a third separate announcement. Oh yes. Oh, there's a question. What is the? Oh, Frogman. More drop. It's right. more. So it's a frog. That's the short answer. There's a long answer. It's this really crazy PowerPoint that's probably somewhere. Yeah. Um, I have a recording of it. Okay. Yeah. It's a frog. It's, it's a frog. It's a frog. I mean, there's there's a troll and ritualistic combat. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole long. There's, there's, there's a frog. There's, like, we love the frog. It's not from the club. It's yeah. One of the ever growing amount of mascots that we have. We love Bimbo. Uh, uh, he sucks for you. It will still be a keeper of the You find these pages. I mean, I guess Gerber won the long trip for New Britain. We love frogs here at the VGDC. But. Anyways, we have one more uh, announcement uh, to get through before we get yeah, started. Any of you uh, who know Aaron King, uh, he's a member of the club. He's not at club very often because he's all doing whatever. But he uh, works with a doing a little group um, that's kind of a connection of a bunch of different uh, game development programs at different schools. And in partnership with the... Um, Student Game Developer Alliance Association, I don't remember what it is, uh, which is a bunch of game development uh, programs in California, and the the EGD, which is a collection of game development programs up in the Northeast around New York area. Um, they're working to try and host a Student Game Awards show. So if you have any games that you would like to submit for that or anything, uh, this is the link. This QR code will take you into their Discord. That is how you get involved with that. Um, there will be the way it's going to work. Roughly, is there's going to be like a live event that they're trying to host for it, which will be run across three different locations. One of which will be in probably Hunt Library. So, if uh, that sounds interesting to you, either to try and put a game out and get it submitted, or just to try and go and watch. Um, go ahead and you can scan that mm -hmm. and join. If you don't get it now, um, you can reach out to Aaron or I in the Discord and we can get you the link to that as well. So yep. We also will have these slides available uh, technically right now, but also uh, you can reference them in the future if you need them. Uh, but yeah, uh, if no one has any questions about that, everyone has the uh, QR code if they want. We can go ahead and get started with uh, our presentation. Yeah.
So, Pam, you want to start us off? Yeah, sure. So this is a very quick, fast catch up on the super, super basics of all the terminology stuff. I've kind of made these as generic and as useful as possible for beginners. Um, but we'll just kind of go through the list here. So a note is just like a like a single sound. You know, that one seems easy. And notes have pitch, which is like how high or low they sound. And they happen in rhythm over time. That's that's kind of the easy part. But that, it, that's really all music is. So if you can handle that, we should be good for the rest of this. Um, there, there's um, different amount of there can be different amount of, of beats in a measure. Music happens over time. We divide time into measures, and uh, you can have four or three or two or any amount. Um, and they can even not all be the same width, but it's just kind of it happens over time. And what we call measures. Uh, the two, the, the the main features of music, uh, melody is is the kind of the part that you're going to remember, the part that you can kind of sing and you can latch on to. Uh, and accompaniment is anything else that is in the song, like like a background part or chords or drums or bass or whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, when you play multiple notes at the same time, it's called harmony, and uh, it's it's pretty cool, and it's also kind of the hard part, but it's not too bad when you play multiple notes at the same time it's a chord and when you put multiple chords in a row it's a chord progression so like you don't actually have to play all the notes it's just like the idea of having a collection of notes that are in right now and having a different collection of notes that are in slightly later that felt very vague did half yeah. of that make sense? It's making sense. Okay, awesome. All right. I'm also cool. getting some visuals will help too. So yes. Yeah. We'll get some visuals in a little bit. Yes. But uh yeah. Uh go ahead and move on to the next slide. Uh so we're gonna talk a little bit just about uh musical structure and form. This is some very basic stuff that you can see. Like I have some uh examples of like different sections music can be divided into that are typical of like popular music. Uh there are lots of different sections besides just these. Uh these are just kind of ideas. Uh the many ideas that they just kind of do different things that serve your piece in different ways, where like your intro is just kind of like a like a sort of bombastic like beginning of your piece sounds unique it's kind of the only piece of it like it uh your chorus is kind of like your main sort of core part of your music it's like your uh the part you remember the most and you have verses and bridges which are kind of function similarly but in contrast to each other where your verse is going to be kind of like building to your chorus and your bridge is in contrast to your verse building to your final chorus stuff like that uh and individual struct pieces of these structures uh can be built in different ways uh so uh it's i like to think of it sort of like a poem uh different structure different pieces of music uh sort of rhyme with each other there are patterns that you will sort of bake into it and that's a really good way to sort of make something that sounds uh nice something catchy something that people remember um there are some old british words here uh like sentence form uh the general idea is that this form is this is there's one of many uh you have sort of like an idea that sort of repeats itself a little bit different uh, then you have two phrases that sort of continue at like half length, that's sort of in contrast, and then you have your cadence at the end, which sort of brings you back to where you began. Or if this were a verse or something, lead into your chorus or another verse. Um, and you can kind of see looking at this, uh, it's like these sort of rhyme with each other because they kind of do the same pattern, the end in sort of a similar way. And it's sort of like rhyming schemes of like A, A, B, B, A <laughs> uh, when we get down into it. Um, and, and contrasting to this, uh, you also have like, skip past that. It wasn't loading earlier. Um, but there's, that's just a, a good example, uh, from Super Mario brothers. Um, uh, this is another one from hollow Knight. Uh, this is sort of an example of your period form, uh, where, uh, as opposed to that, uh, you have like your basic idea, then your contrasting idea that sort of like opposes your basic one. And you go back to your basic idea and it sort of like rhymes with that again. And then you conclude and transition. Uh, which is sort of like your ABAB -AB, uh, in, in poetry um, uh, with the general idea of how you would structure. And this would be good for like a chorus or verse as well, um, just to sort of be a concrete piece of your music that people remember, recognize, and understand. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's just sort of a little quick rundown on form. Um, you can let me move on yeah. uh get into some uh composition tool we'll uh, now talk about the the important part of this which is the different programs that you can use there are two main distinctions between different types of digital audio workspaces or just any sort of programs there are notation programs and then of course digital audio workspaces 
Notation programs are normally used if you're trying to orchestrate something. If you are conducting a band, trying to come up with a larger piece, um, you would use MuseScore or something like that. If you want to write music in it, go for it. It does have a lot of other caveats and some difficulties with it. You will also have to deal with the dreaded MIDI instruments. I hate them. That is a personal problem. Getting better. Um, digital DAWs, on the other hand, you can really use for everything. Ableton is the one that I primarily use, and this is generally what things will look like. Um, any of the other ones have similar sort of setups. It depends on what you're using. FL Studio tends to look more like early 2000s Apple, where it's all bubbles, rather than Ableton is just this sort of blocky structure. Um, uh, so one, one note that I'm going to add on that is that the two of these both are compatible with a uh, digital music format called MIDI, which is basically like a stored sequence of notes, like over, like it's, it's like a song. It's like, it's like one part of a whole song, but like in a computer form. So you can like write things in Ableton and then export it to MIDI and then import that into MuseScore or vice versa. So if you mainly would like want to use MuseScore, but then you want to do like mixing and mastering on it, you can export all of the MIDI or just use the MuseScore instruments and export all of the individual track audio and then optimize in this one. Or if you want some like the better sound fonts, like for like brass and, uh, uh, like strings and stuff that MuseScore has, you can move things both ways. So you're not like locked into one of them because they both use the format that they can, you can kind of like move between them. With. You cannot master anything or mix or master MuseScore really. Not so really use Ableton for that. Um, and or, or any, any doll of your choice. Yeah. yeah. That is like the final ending stages of whenever you're writing a piece, you'll add different filters onto things to like change sound and make. Basically, so that way you can balance everything. It's out. like the last step of like volume balancing uh, is is mixing and kind of like kind of making sure all the parts match together, same volume, and then mastering is just kind of putting it all in one little box and and giving it kind of the kind of sound that you want. Make it look, yeah, make 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 it nice and pretty. So basically, a notation program creates sheet music. If you are writing for people to play, you would use one of these. I've listed a couple of these. If you see. There's an additional addendum on which ones I recommend you should use uh, based on them being free. Um, and the other ones are all really expensive. And I don't know why I didn't highlight flat because flat is so free. It's in your browser, but whatever. Um, it's got, oh, yeah, yeah. It's got a premium. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Well, I, I, I remember that's why I didn't market. Three billion different premium subscription upgrades. And yeah, I, I, I use the free circle kind of loosely because it is kind of everyone has their 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 strategy nowadays of, of how they get you. And also the flat program puts a watermark on everything that you make in it. Oh, you I hate, don't buy I hate it, so, that. Yeah. Like the little beeps. I hate that. Well, that's okay. Gross. That's why it's not free. <laughs> um, um, no flight is great. If you want to do something just like literally hit your browser. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, and, uh, flat. and Lily Pond is terminal based. Yeah. If you knew that. And if you're going to use MuseScore, please remember to save frequently. It will crack yeah. all eh, the time. Four's not that bad. It's pretty bad. All right. Hey, we're going nothing yet. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, but basically MuseScore uh, four specifically, uh, kind of has a lot more, um, uh, better sounds than three after, uh, Tantacruel has taken over, um, is the funny way to put it. But, um, basically the kind of the workflow in here is, is the standard kind you, you're writing music in the way that it would be, it would be read by real performers if it were to be performed. So, you know, it's kind of the typical score layout of this is the instruments and pitch axis, and this is the time axis. And so... I took a, a page view screenshot, but there's there's a way you can make it where it just kind of it's infinitely extending staves. Um, staves, it's staff plural. Yeah, a staff. A, sing, a single line is called a staff. It makes it actually really easy to work with yeah. when everything's just kind of in a straight line. Yep. Um, yeah. I'll, yep. My go. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, now we get to talk about all the different types of digital audio workspaces. Um, one of the things I should note is that Audacity is kind of a soft, it's not actually really a digital I mean, it's space. it's about as much as GarageBand is, yeah. What you can do with it is more or less, it's in, it's great, it's just a free program that you can use to record any audio. If you want to make a podcast, just download Audacity, do not spend any money on anything. Any of these other programs, I don't have experience with LMMS or Reaper, um, I'm guessing they're probably good. I mean, yeah, they're, yeah. they're, they're both, LMS and Reaper are free, um, but uh, they're they're both a little different. FL is free with, you can't save. Ableton is free with a trial that you can use a new email for every month. You can keep infinitely reusing Ableton's free trial. Um, GarageBand's technically free. If you have a Mac or any sort of uh, Apple device, you can just use that for GarageBand. It, it's a great program, honestly. Uh, I think one of, uh, a couple of different albums have been in, made entirely on it. 
Logic is also a great program. Um, Apple only, yeah. That one's also Apple only. But the thing about Logic is it's is mostly made for just like making drum or specific tracks that can automatically be generated. Um, anything else, or that's about it. Um, uh, I mean, you, you want to talk about, like about the DAW workflow, kind of like yeah, yeah like, mm -hmm. like 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 explain like what all those same things mean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Here, I'll do this. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So Here, basically, the, the the difference between DAWs and, and notation comes down to like you're more working with kind of visual kind of um, stuff. Like if you see on the if you look at the the orange one in the middle, you can see the, the the MIDI notes that he's placed for chords. And like if you scroll into the if you see on the bottom, he's highlighting the yellow one. You can see the piano on the on the side there. And it's like these are the notes they are. But it's more focused on just having. Uh, symbols that very clearly explain what notes are where, as opposed to looking like something that someone instead would actually... Instead of being the little dots, it is yeah. instead boxes on each of those spaces. It's the exact same thing, it's just in a different format. Yeah, like um, you wouldn't print out a bunch of tiny rectangles to hand to a trumpet player and be like, play this. But like, the computers are great with this, and it's really easy to kind of drag and draw around on there. Um, and so that's how that is. Yeah. And whenever it comes to using DAWs, it's a lot easier because you don't need that music knowledge specifically. A lot of the time, because it is so just like, oh, these boxes go here and these sound nice, you don't need nearly as much experience yeah, with you like definitely need to know, music. Like, you don't need to know what kind of key you're in or what. You can just kind of put stuff places until it sounds good. Um, That's what I do half the time, and it works. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and addition, in addition to having MIDI, you can also have live audio files. So if, like you wanted, if you made like a track in MIDI and then you wanted to record yourself singing over it, you could, and DAWs can do that. Uh, one of the things that Ableton is basically built for originally its purpose, the reason it's called Ableton Live, is because it was meant to be used as a live like DJ workstation. Um, this is the main view that you can look at for just like yeah, working on specific notes. You can flip it to a different one, which lets you basically flip between different audio files. And that's you have two different methods of making music inside of this program. Um, it kind of just like takes it and like makes it go the other way. Yeah. Instead, Vertical of, rather instead than of time going this way and notes going this way, the notes go this way and time goes this way. It's a weird one. Um, I don't think I have anything else. Um, that's I, I think that's I think that's about it. What we got next? Uh, all right. Uh, just some quick considerations uh, regarding music and video games specifically. Uh, you usually will be designing music that uh, at least uh, usually will need to loop. Sometimes there might be something diegetic that you can the user can start and stop. Um, but uh, so parts you will generally, you know, you want to design them to be able to repeat. Uh, you want to avoid them sounding too repetitive and stuff like that. So it's good to have different sections uh, that you can divide your music up into uh, so that it doesn't ever get super old. Uh, and it should also, you know, kind of complement the flow of the game and sort of stay, uh, within like the sort of general vibe of the world. Uh, so you want to sort of stay out of the way of like spoken dialogue and stuff. If that's happening or any important game events, like the player doing something, they should have that feedback first primarily. Uh, and of course your style should be fitting towards your setting. Um, and it's a good idea to do research into different styles of music uh, to know what to do. A little note on sound effects here, which isn't specifically for music, but I figured it'd be worth uh, mentioning. Uh, they should similarly also reflect the atmosphere of your game. Uh, if you want to have like a like survival horror game, maybe don't have some Scooby-Doo sound effects, unless it's like Scooby-Doo horror or something. Um, they need to play a lot and at like basically whenever at on un, like in undefined times like whenever you whenever it completely randomly so you want them to be able to be played kind of a lot and not sound super harsh so the user doesn't get super like annoyed <laughs> at the sound effects uh just stuff to unless think of that's your goal. unless that's your goal that's kind of the caveat for almost everything here which is that unless you're trying to do that uh and that's just a kind of thing in music in general is that usually there's always an exception uh but we don't need to worry about that uh, but yeah, uh, that's just a quick little note about that. So basically, the, the, I have a few kind of tips on on ways to be creative and uh, and find things in your research and just like looking up stuff and trying to find out like what are things you can use and not. And one of them I didn't want to put on here that I probably should have is that um, what are you just talking about? You're literally just talking about sound effects. Atmosphere. Go back. I'll go back. <laughs> this is really well organized. Oh, we know what we're yes. doing, guys. Um, Don't worry. That, <laughs> anytime someone says that something is right or wrong in music, it's that it's right or wrong in a specific context. There's no objective right or wrong. There's not just like this is bad or good forever. 
like anyone in here who's like taken a theory class before has heard that parallel fifths are bad. Um, and that's because they're bad if you're Bach and you're trying to write music like Bach. If you're trying to write rock, then they're actually really good and mm -hmm. mandatory. You can't do it without them. So like any any kind of hard and fast rule that you hear from someone about like, oh, you have to do it like this. Uh, it's kind of bullshit. I'm just going to tell you because it's you have to do that in order to get a certain kind of sound. So knowing that that kind of thing is any kind of guideline you have is to get to a certain direction or for a certain purpose. So you have to kind of like know what your goal is and decide whether or not any advice is useful to you based off like, does this sound better to me? If it sounds good and it's what you want, it works, it's perfect. Um, one important thing is to know what kind of music you like and to start to find out why you like the music you like. In order to make things more like stuff that you like, you have to like know what about it makes it work, what makes it tick, and then try to like replicate that success. You know, like in in part of like being able to come up with better better ideas in your head is going to be somewhat like getting a better ear and being able to like listen to stuff more and be like, oh, I I, I understand what's happening in this because uh, I have a good idea. Of course, I'm kind of going off that. Like, what? That's my question is oh. Sorry, you're fine. It's okay. I, I, I'm like, talking too fast at this. I'm not a music person. Yeah, so sure. I can hear something and I can like it. I can understand the flow of it, but like, instrumentally, I might not know what all is there. How to find? I think you know, um, resources. So I, you actually reminded me of another point that I was going to bring on this, but I didn't want to put all my points on the thing because then I would I would forget to mention them. But um, one great way to start is especially for like game songs and like popular music. Go look up a piano transcription. Of some of something like that, or like a piano tutorial, because even if you don't play piano, you can still see where all like the little silly columns of note, like that's the notes coming down from the top. That's the the MIDI from earlier. Like that's it's the same face. So if you listen to something and you can't like quite pick out how it works, go find someone that has done it for you, and then like you can see it. So that's like right. That's that's the easiest way. And it's not nearly as bad these days because there's a lot more of those kinds of channels. But whenever you uh, whenever you look up a thing, I always look up two or three and cross reference them. This one was wrong, mm -hmm. and uh, being wrong on the internet is a uh, a lot of people are wrong on the internet. <laughs> that, that's that's just true. Does that kind of make sense? Kind of. As like a starting point. Yeah. A little bit. Uh, another thing I'd recommend is the ignore part of the steel small. Uh, what I. What I do a lot when of time, early, yeah. Um, what I do a lot of time is just try to recreate certain pieces. That's one of the best ways that you can really get familiar with a certain genre or anything. Really, is you just listen to whatever it is and then try to just duplicate it in whatever way that you can. Um, and as soon as you can start getting that down, it really gives you a better familiarity with whatever sound that you need or what you're trying to create. Um, yeah. So going into more on on stealing small, uh, it's if you're not good into like composition, it's gonna feel like you're stealing. Uh, and that's because you are, and that's okay, because all of it's stealing. It always has been stealing. If you take like the 2D art analogy, like, and you're drawing a picture of a person, you you have to steal anatomy and perspective. You're not going to reinvent the wheel on this. It's just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. But when you're when you're early on, it's probably best to like like you can just like recreate stuff at all. But if you're trying to like come up with your own original ideas, instead of being like I just like took these two things and kind of combined them. That'd be like, I just took like these 10 things and just kind of combined them. Or it's like this one thing right here is just like this one part of this other song. But it's not like this song, other song before or after it. It's just, I like that one part. It's like, oh, I want that. Find find things that you like and just kind of, just kind of, kind of pick them out. There are only eight notes in a yeah, scale. Yeah, there, 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 there are 12 is, notes. Yeah. Yeah, like there are eight chords. Like it's it's not... Everything has been done already, so just do whatever you want to. Um, I think that's I think that's that's fair. Yeah. Remember, kids, if you're stealing from six sources, that's inspiration. I said it nobody laughed. Let me see. Tom's funny. <laughs> the undying charisma of the branding officer. <laughs> sure. Like Brandon Powers. Um, um so I mean I I've two of these. Okay. Um we're we're going really fast. We're going but, fast. Um, the next kind of main thing is to keep it moving. If you are stuck in one place for, for too long, and I'm talking like multiple days, if you get stuck and you're just like, I just don't know what to do. I'll uh, just do something else. Just like be like, all right, like, I don't know what the introduction of this song is going to be, 
but like, I know I want this to sound like this. Like, don't feel like you have to write the music from start to finish, just like in order. You could just be like, if you have an idea, you're like, this is a good idea. And that a idea may end up in the middle later, but like when you have inspiration and you're like, I know what I want to do, act on it and like try to do that part immediately. And when it comes around time to be like, okay, I have to clean up the song with something that works. Be like, these are the, all the sections I have. How do I put them together according to the form stuff that Thomas was talking about earlier? Um, let the process guide you. A lot of times, and like Carson was kind of saying, it's going to be hard to like get the thing that you want in your head onto the paper or to the Ableton or to whatever the hell. Um, and a lot of times you just kind of stumble into things that you like. And those might be better than what you're trying to go for originally. And it's not like fake that you like, oh, I didn't actually like try to do that. I just ended up making it. It's still like a product of your own creativity. And when you end up in moments like that, you can look at it and be like, why does this thing that I found sound good? Why does this sound like what I want it to sound like? Why does this work? And you can do the same thing I did in the first one. Uh, and then uh, take breaks. If you sleep you will wake up tomorrow and you will not remember what you did. And you'll be like, what did I do? And you'll be like, God, that guy from yesterday, he is really, really bad. I, and here's all the ways that I would fix that. Breaking, taking breaks is really important when you're writing anything in a DAW because you're going to be listening to the same thing over and over, over again, and over again yeah. like at least 30 times over the course of a minute or something like that. You're going to start hating whatever you write, no matter how good it is. Take a break, let it rest for yeah. a bit before coming back to it. And And like a lot of this stuff can be thought of as an analogy from from visual art or whatever but i think the uh the kind of emphasis here is to just make sure that you are being like a fair judge to your own work because otherwise like you know it's going if you've never written music before it's going to start sounding not like music and you just have to start somewhere because otherwise like it doesn't go anywhere. But if, if you follow one idea through all the way to the end, you will learn so much more than if you just kind of like start and eh, it's not very good. And eh, it's not very good. And eh, it's not very good. I think that's the presentation. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, before we get into sort of the, uh, everyone works on stuff face just really quickly. Uh, this is uh, just some other resources we thought would be helpful. And my resources, we kind of read resource because resource compiled a lot of resources about uh, a few years ago. Uh, so we can thank Bailey for this. Uh, he did a workshop on music, uh, spring 2021. He has some other information on some like chord progressions. You can take a look at, uh, some YouTube channels you can reference like Apic music theory, for example, um, oh, some information on DAWs and, uh, more examples of games. Thank you, Bailey. Uh, and, uh, as a reminder, this slide deck is linked in the announcements channel. If you guys ever want to take a look at it. Uh, so well, now we're on the, much faster than the your turn phase. Uh, so we got here in about uh, 25 minutes. <laughs> so, All right, let's, have, let's take a time for everyone to start yes. messing around. Um, let's, let's take a quick moment. Does anybody have any like questions about all the stuff we've been talking about yes. so far? Anything at all. Anything at all. We'll you can even ask us about our day. But there's a free trial. Yes. You can just use like a random email or something like that and it'll give you. As long as you have new emails. That is also a thing. I was going to say, um, pretty much every single program that we just mentioned, paid or free, is available to you at any of the libraries at NC State. Um, and I also believe certain classes give you like licenses for things. Yeah. So, is there a student version of Ableton? There is. Uh, there are student discounts, uh, and it's currently on sale because Ableton Live 12 is coming out soon. Um, it's still like expensive. But it is considerably less expensive. And the nice thing about Ableton is as soon as you buy any previous version of it, you get the future ones for free. So uh, so if you buy Live 11 Standard uh, Student, uh, you can finance it if you really want to. Uh, then when Live 12 comes out, you can just get that. And 13 and 14, you have that forever. Uh, so it is a little bit of a return on investment. We like software that isn't a subscription uh, forever. Uh, Adobe. Uh, but uh, yeah. Awesome. Uh, how, how are we all? Okay. Yeah. Um, do you know if it's available in the libraries? Can you just like access it? Any computer in Hill or Hunt has it, but also there are specific labs that contain that and like will give you yeah. specific. You should like, be able to access spaces. them. Like, your own computer by setting up the... uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I've so. checked you before. To... You cannot do that. You can't. They don't give you any licenses for that stuff. Uh, you'd have to go to a library computer and use one of those. However, they do have like very nice little sound booths that you can use and 
use those for things. So. I believe the VR Studio computers are also equipped with them, but I don't work there. Uh, uh, but yeah, there's the Digital uh, Media Lab, which is the main place you're going to look to find those. Um, you you do need to do like a they they make you do like an intro video and stuff, but after that you're good to go. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. now, uh, any further questions? Before we get into the next bit, right. so uh, so this is the your turn bit uh, that we thought we weren't going to get to quite so fast. Uh, but the general idea is we're just going to let you guys loose. Uh, we're going to I think open up a, a Ableton up here. Yes. Uh, just so you guys can take a look at that uh, while we're doing this. Yes. Uh, the general idea yes. is that we're going to be uh, just uh, making pieces. Uh, write anything you want uh, in the software we discussed. Uh, you can start downloading it now if you haven't already. Uh, either um, you prefer. I'm about to post the links for both Ableton and uh, um, mm -hmm. and MuseScore in in general. Ableton, you get the free trial. Of MuseScore is just free. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I know let's have you write something for 20 minutes, and then have me, Tommy, write something for 20 minutes, and everybody else can kind of just follow along yep. if you want, or sure. you can go on and do your own stuff if you want. Uh, and we'll be walking around uh, if any of you guys people. need help with the software or any ideas or anything like that. Uh, but if you need a starting point just for an idea of something to write, uh, we have some examples right here. Just uh, topical for games, you know, you have your tutorial area, open world kind of area, your underground, underwater, boss, credits theme, stuff like that. Uh, just to get you started. But yes. Uh, Go ahead and open that. I'm going to tickle some more things. All right. What is that? <laughs> Wait, that's wait, that's great. awesome. That's really great. Yeah. Please send that to me. You would be the easy draw. Damn. 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 You're so recognized. I guess, yeah. <laughs> great. Right. Just, uh, just, right. just a. Uh, um, let me see if I can't connect this mouse instead. Uh, oh, we can. I can have a mouse. Yeah, do you have a mouse? Okay. Oh, oh. All right. So this is what I was talking about with the, this is the live view. This is the actual, and this is what you want to do. You press tab to switch between the two different views. So this is the real one that you do for writing music. Thank right. you. And if you want to, if you want to stop until like, yeah. Let's, you want to do half an hour or 20? Uh, I can, whatever's, you can cut me off whenever. Um, and then, all right. actually I'll, I guess I can just talk through what I'm doing. Yeah, just, just do everything. something yeah. and talk about it. So we'll kind of go around and make sure. People... First step of things, you'll go into this sort of view as you're looking through stuff. Ignore the two audio channels. What happens with that is those are meant specifically for recording or snippets of audio. If you're going to mess around with like French house stuff like Daft Punk, then yeah, use those channels. We don't need to. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to be messing around with MIDI's. So. Also, real quick, does everybody like has Ableton download? Everybody who wants to like follow along has Ableton download. Um, I mean, you, you use a dog or jokes. I don't care. Yeah. The idea is you can be making music in whatever you want. We don't want to be too restrictive or anything. Um, you can we talk about music score. We talk about Ableton. You, you can use play. Ableton to follow along with Landon. Yes, later, we're probably going to do some music score stuff up there if you want to follow us. Or you can just go off on your own and use whatever purpose you want. If you have Apple Studio, you know what you're doing. Okay. Uh, Hit me with the you be easy to draw. Goddamn. <laughs> Send that to me later, though. That's great. I don't. I don't care. Just whatever. Okay. Um. I guess is it okay for me to like start going through the different instruments and things because it's gonna make noise on uh, for everybody. Uh, make sure my computer isn't muted, and also that my audio device is set correctly. Let's make sure it's not too loud because I yeah. It might, it might be a little. Oh, okay, cool. It is coming out of my computer, notably. That's great. Uh, and not the big okay, thing. This one. So I just need to select the place. Uh, oh, is it not outputting? Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's This fine. probably? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. Sweet. Let's turn this down just a little bit. Uh, oh, okay. Right. Just the volume of uh, this thing. Here. All right, sweet. And also on my computer. Oh, well, you can get achievements. You won't to die. So we're probably going to be walking around and making sure people don't need help or anything. All right. Uh, you can uh, just be proposing something and talking about what you're doing. Yep. Yeah. So, um, 
Who wants to watch me do this guide, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. People are watching. Sorry. Right, cool. <laughs> Damn, okay. That felt camp counselor. I did not like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to just go through right now my sort of process for making music. Um, generally, whenever I start off, I tend to try and focus on a like baseline of sorts. It's a really good any idea that you can like start coming up with something and then reference that continuing on with any sort of other part. So first off, if you want to try and make any part in this, you're going to have to double click, create a small box. Um, you can extend it out and add more. But for right now, mess around and make something that sounds decent. Um, also, if you want to listen to notes as you're currently putting them into the, into the software, you have to click this little blue headphone button, or you click on it, it turns blue, so. Nice. What's up? I said, why are you writing the same I'm no, I'm just messing around to see what it sounds like. Yeah, I haven't decided yet. So, Lynn, what's your goal right now? What are you trying to write? I think right now I'm going to try and come up with something that sounds like boss music y. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? Do you need help with something? Yeah, sure. Um, I was wondering, uh, do you want to try and come up with something right now? So what are you thinking? So I like the sound of this bass a lot. Yeah, so we're going to mess around with this and try and come up with something that sounds like very synthy. So one idea I have is maybe using... I usually use a bus. You do? Okay. It's, it's, some of the stuff is pretty similar. It's not the, you know, early 2000s Apple bubble thing. That's true. Yeah. I mean, I know that. Do you do just music production or what do you, are you programming with the club too? Or do you know? I just do the club. Even I'm nice to make I make music for my own games and I just keep my games. Nice. I need to start working on making more games. So, um, I can't visit them. Let me think, because what I was thinking of doing is trying to do, have you ever listened to, like, synthwave stuff at all? I think a lot of I make synthwave. Yeah, so whenever it comes to that, a lot of the time, when you write stuff, um, there's that, like, underlying bass line that goes, like, dun, 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 on everything. So you can just take an arpeggiator on that, if I can get... There we go. And we'll set it to zero steps, so as it's playing, it's on eighth notes. Oh, well, I'm not going to change the bass now because it doesn't sound great, but we'll figure out something. What do you think? Maybe a different synth or something? Thinking. Um, I do a lot. Sound. Yeah, I just like synths. Move forward. Oh, yes. Not that I'm to get Yeah, you got to look. Do you want to look at like the individual fancy yeah. stuff? That's this view right here. Swaps between. This is to mess with like different audio effects and stuff. And this is for the specific notes. So, let me I don't like any of these. <laughs> Let's see if any of these guys have something for us. Yeah, that's okay. There's. Let me see if any of the synth leads got anything for us, or... No. I hate that. I always forget how much I hate the, the bass Ableton stuff. Yeah. Um... The bass Ableton stuff is kind of confusing. That could be something for a lead part. So that could be... Let's make that a bit slower. Eh, I don't know how I feel about this bass anymore. Let's mess with this for a sec. There we go. That's a lot better. So now, extend that out a lot further, make it full two measures. And the velocity, I guess, can change later. We'll add like a flanger. Could you increase the rate of 
Uh, of the like the tap, yeah. If you make that, let's make it like one twelfth, I guess. Yeah, that sounds hard. God damn it. And now my favorite part, which is to add distortion. Distortion. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, maybe just overdrive instead. Yeah. If you don't mind bringing that chair over, I think, and you can grab one yourself too. That'll work. Thank you so much. Uh, go ahead and grab yourself a chair too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, let's make it a bit slower, honestly. That sounds good. I like that. So. Let's make this a lot shorter. Let me. This is just to get like the sound down. I say it's a little bit long. Yeah. Something. Maybe not on a C. Yeah. Maybe a, let me make the repetitions a little bit slower, actually. I like that. I'm making it. I'm doing this very quickly now because I'm under a time. I'm under some time pressure. I normally. What do you think? Is there anything else for like a structure? Um, go for it. Let me. That's a lot. Yeah. Make that just a little bit longer. Extend that out. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Now what? What do you think? Sorry. Oh, wait. You look easy to draw. Yeah. Nice. Actually, maybe this measure. I do like it more if it's still in that. So, what do you say? Is this first measure? Second yeah. Measure? Okay. First, then second. Yeah. Because that's each of the one point two represents the downbeats. So, like oh, one. So, so, it, one so that's essential. so this is one beat. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Okay, so, you see, yeah. Yes, this. Yeah, and that's why I kind of do off tempos for some things more. I'd like to see what you guys. Yeah. I place this down. I like place down. Oh, uh, double click on a spot where you want to place down a note. Like, let me try. Okay. It's just a quick double click. That's oh, okay. Okay. No, it's just an inside memory thing. That's real kind of like. Oh, uh, you move so. Whenever it comes to MIDI instruments, um, they're weird, and if you try to use them. Um, wait. Really? Let's. Can I see? I have an idea. Give it like just half a resting. Something. <laughs> yep. Duplicate that. Needs a bit of a yeah, break between. A little bit yeah. more. It, this is like the part where it's always just you keep having to like mess around. With it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Top of
So it needs something in between. That. Sometimes having having a what's called just having a rest here is right. Do you, you think it'd be good to have the rest? Okay. You can introduce like another instrument. I was thinking second loop. Do you mind if I? Yeah, sure. I feel I feel like I'm just like now. Let me do part. <laughs> Yeah, but this is just me. Like you add a little bit of space there, make it sound fun for me. So, but let me mess with this for two seconds. Just... Sorry. No, it's actually they work. Like smoke delivery. No. Because that's the same effect, and if you're doing it the one time, it's better only. Sounds more like a reverberated fire. Yeah. Yeah. I think I like the other one where it has that little like da da da. Yeah. This is just me messing with it for a second. <laughs> it's just this. <laughs> this needs to be a different note. Or shorter, maybe. Something weird to change it. So maybe give it like, do that offbeat again. There you go, that's better. That's better. Eh, let's listen to it real quick. Let me cut off. Yeah. Right here. Duplicate. Try that. We had a gap. There we go. This? I don't listen to it again. Let's loop it. Oh, it needs like a. It needs like one more note beforehand. Yeah. Let's see if that works. You're right, the brakes do sound better, yeah. <laughs> Let, let me play with this for a second. No. <laughs> Let's delete uh, that. Uh, off. Then maybe like a, I think a slide hat right here would be good. It's like a, yeah, um, yeah it's like, just like an over. What's going to be awful is that the break here is a bit too small. Yeah, you think it should, should it like carry over to like, like, yeah, second yeah. figure? Yeah. But then it feels like it's, yeah, it's empty. Yeah, it's empty right now. Not as empty. You're right, yeah. Okay. Oh, let me just mess with this. So, you're thinking... And you add something for I'm sure you're thinking about going here, probably. Yeah. See if... Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Kind of. It's because it warps to the beats, so it's going to sound off because it's trying to like adjust. Because that's 73 versus. Versus. So here's the one where it's, it's warped correctly. <laughs> Does not sound right. It's funky. All right, let's see if you you got something for it. Yeah. Well, wow, first, this. Yeah. This is you and me. I don't know what this is. Oh, is this what's playing, Kern? Oh, uh, this. So those bars. 
Like when it comes to that, this is for looping for anything. So whenever, if you're using Ableton, if you want to loop any passage, so like click on like just one box of something. So you notice how like I've cut off, click on like the top little, see where like that little, like the rind of it, I guess is the right mess, right word. So if you click on that, if you hit control L, it will loop that subject. And then if I hit space, It'll keep looping that on that part. If I want to unloop it, hit it again. Or also, you can hit that little button, and that just adjusts the length of where the looping is. Okay. So that's all. But now it's not active. But now it's not active right now. For things that are always like the chat in these software, it's like, what is it actually trying to play? Yeah. Each uh, yeah. yeah. uh, yeah. yeah. the 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 hi hats The hi hats are actually fine. Yeah, I thought so. Alright, okay, so it's going for the first one. Yeah. I don't want to be going. Best one. Best of Gelman, sir. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to turn away. Let's go to Mike's more apps. To move the notes. Yeah, you do the lag. Because I can drag up and down. Well, no, no, no. Yes, it's just a little bit more. Well, see, actually, because I definitely have, like, a thing. Main thing I do is just cut paste. I think I have that, like, pitch shift. It's just like that. It's like, I don't know. One of them. I don't understand. It's like, I just keep going. Jeez. So, this can't be Look at repeating it. Magnetic change. Or. 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 Click over to like any specific spot where that white line is, and it changes what the start point is. So right now we're on. Now we're back where we started. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if I hit this, it needs a bass. It needs like a really thumping bass. Bass. No, I mean like a kick drum. Oh, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe like a lap. Is there a premise to this song? Boss fight, I think, was the idea. So it'd be something where it's that no, bass, or like a club boss fight is what this sounds like. Um, nope. That'll work. Yeah. <laughs> I should have a song that it might be kind of similar to this, but yeah. It's it was, it's actually starting to sound like one of the songs. Have you played the finals, either of you? No. It's it's one of their, like, is that what you're thinking of? Or? I'm, I'm thinking of a song that I made this past. Nice. Um, yeah, it's this one. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. I'd love to hear. Uh, Bring it up with the students. Like, like, this is sick. <laughs> nice, man. That was something similar to this, but we don't have any like break. Cool. We don't have any amen breaks or anything right now. If it was my computer, I'd have I have a full like yeah, list of them. I love I love using them and getting to mess around with it. But right now we're using Thomas's computer, which does not have anything built onto it. Oh, oh. Should we had an instrument. 
Instruments. Instruments are just easier for me since I like grew up with playing instruments. I guess yeah, see, I you can play. actually. Um, that's actually a fun fact about whenever it comes to any of this sort of stuff. If I swap over to the note view, turn on this little button right here, you can just play notes as if it was a keyboard. Uh, when I was making the music for Cookie Critters, that's I swore and then I wanted to kill myself, so I turned the DML. Well, I finished that the, does sound like the music. It's it's this close, yeah. <laughs> This is this is C. It, it's, the, it's the same instrument. You can't play chords. <laughs> it depends on the instrument. Yeah, this one. Can. This a lot of synths only let you play one note at a time. It's a weird thing. But if I swap over to this one, it might be able to play chords. It does. Eh, I hate this though. Oh, change around. Hi, how you doing? GG. GG. So I. So scroll up. So we have. Hey, he's got the. What? What's your name? Oh, I'm Seth. Seth. Hello. No, I've, we've, I've met you before, I think. Yes. Yes. I don't remember. Hi, Matt. It's okay. It's okay. Landon. Good. 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 Nice to see you again, man. Nice to meet you. I think we again. talked one day after, like, Golden Dragon or something. Yeah. That was when. No. Bad at names. Same here. It's okay. We're all bad at names. I yeah, can't even remember yours. You know, I, know. I, don't, I don't even know what yours is. It's Zenobia. It's Zenobia. 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 Got it. I know, like, Sokovia. Sokovia. The Sokovia Accords. Ah, uh, so here. So, one second, sorry. Everybody keeps saying that. It's either that or like. This one. Are you just watching the process right now? or? Yeah, I have absolutely no idea. Do I have anything else to this? Let me see if it. Uh, feels like it's, it's something. Yeah. I made my first song. I made my first song in a class. My first song was probably not in my rush band. That was so much. I've been on her first time. No, it's off. She fucked. I'm. Whenever it comes to it, um, a lot of it will just be messing around or stealing from other things that I like. Uh, one of my methods, because I love to make stuff similar to Daft Punk, where I will take samples and like fuck around with them. Right. Uh, whenever it comes to those, you take something you like, you mess around with it a bunch, cut it off into pieces, and that's how you can get parts of the music. When it comes to writing it out this way, my method starts with, again, coming up with like a baseline working off of that, and then making a melody on top, then whatever it's variations. Cutting pieces from the music. Do you mean just like isolating particular parts that you want to listen to, and like you're trying to mentally pick out whatever beat you need for your No, you can click and drag like a song into Ableton to see where this well, like audio file would be, and you can just like, at any time... Well, it would actually expand out into all the pieces. Yeah. So like right here, I really... I like this, but sure, I want to like cut a specific part. I can and just like. I guess what I mean is like if you had a whole song, you know, it's obviously a particular part of it. Yeah, you can't. So I do that by hitting this little solo button. Okay. That lets you like pick a specific part and only listen to that without having to listen to anything else. Is that what you meant? Well, like, no, I mean like if you have multiple instruments. Could you isolate just one? Yeah. From oh. from a like audio file, right. that's a lot trickier. Okay. That requires you need to messing with um, e EQs with, like equalizers, right? And you can mess with those to get like a specific part. Yeah, but it will like, only like do a specific registry. So we sometimes include like the pitches of other instruments inside of it. But you have to be really careful with it sometimes. Yeah. 
Jeff and I are planning on making a game, and neither of us have like all the eighty experience required. For which one? Yeah. It's any composition stuff. I'm always free. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if we can anywhere near like for a long time. Don't worry. Sometimes, like for my game when I was in development, I actually make the music. Help. I feel like it might be a bit hard for like the listener to catch on to the ideas. Yeah, it's it's not hitting right here. Let me I'm gonna mess with this for another second, see if I can't find something. Yeah. Do you need me yeah. to move like this out? Yeah, just a little bit. Thank you. I'll just double this, mute this, go back to here, Let's see if we can come with something. At least I think it's a bit lighter. I fucking hate the Ableton has like pre made synths and things, and I don't like any of them. Um, I tend to use my own stuff. Oh, Serum? I love Serum. I've kind of figured out how it works, so that's why I like it so much. Um, one complex thing that I think I see how to use is massive. And I'll be Recently, I've been like, doing like, really director kind of soundtrack things, so that's fun. I think um, I tend to make stuff similar to like Hotline Miami or things. That's why that's a minor piece. Yeah. Well, it might work. A long time ago. That was just on the side of the I'll let him cook up here. Yeah. You're good. That's way too fast. Yeah. So you're just trying to watch what I'm doing. Gotcha. I don't have my I'm currently doing things in triplets right now, so do not do as do not do as I do. You're sweaty. up here, big ball. Might actually, I'm currently on it right now, so it's it's uh, yeah. people, everyone can hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Why did I say that? <laughs> So I can get it too. Is, that just the, is the view just horizontal instead of vertical? If How you do want to do that, swap between it, you hit tab. Yeah, yeah. and that's, that's a, you a get much like, more useful view for this view. No, the one you're on. Yes. Okay. This is the one I normally <laughs> always use. That looks like actually like you can tell what's happening. That's crazy. Yeah. Nice. Now I'm just trying to cook up something. I I just I cannot get like a synth that sounds right. So that's where I'm starting. I believe with. in you. Uh, it's all these fucking pre-made ones, which all suck. Can you make them with anything in mind, or are you just creating for the sake of creating? Creating for the sake of creating right now. I had an idea for something, but it's currently on my computer at home, which I did not bring me. Sorry, I'm just I'm just focusing on this right now. Let's mess with this right now. Slow her down a little bit. Turn on the arpeggiator. Yeah, 
Does not work. Cool. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, all that though, so, like, I have a nice pretty well. So, yeah. what I did is I even... Yeah, 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 are you there we go so, that's a lot better hell of a sci-fi shooter huh i thought i'm about to play one hell of a sci-fi shooter yeah, yeah that, this does feel like you're about to go to war <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is gonna work well. Seeing the elf do I stop my uh my medieval uh soundtrack from sounding like a trap beat? Have you seen that? <laughs> Can you find said that to me, please. I find it this is, this is, it's beautiful. This is working. This is working now. Yeah, Yeah, that works. We're successfully bopping over here. We're, we're now bopping. We are now. We're now grooving. We're in the. We're in it. And then now I just need to mess around with it. So, yes, this is what I'm about to do. So, maybe like just chord stabs could work, but yeah. Don't worry, it's even better. You're trying to pass me. Considerably better. I mean, uh, something don't. Just wait, just wait. Okay. 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 Okay.
Why is it we're gonna these are way too open. Oh, so way too much. Draws fun because I put this random one and I get to hear a funny new sound. Yeah, every chat Hi. So now it needs like a chord oh, down yeah. over top. And what does this sound like? Is the good question. Sounded to me like there was a pause. Now this is music. <laughs> this is enchanted. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got to have it in there somehow. I, I uh, no, I'm gonna do the Weezer riff. I think it's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't aware So now what I tend to do, whenever it comes to these parts, if I'm trying to come up with a melody, I will take the same notes, just copy and paste, and then add chords on top of them. So what that means is literally just... If you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to tell you anything. That's way too happy. Now it sounds like we're in a gothic. I think that's what just happened, yeah. Now we just need more chords down on top. There we go. That's a lot better. Yeah. That's way better. Yeah. 
Kind of. I'm generally into so Can you make it build up? Probably. That was. That actually sounds pretty good. Let's mess with that. How much does software cost me? Student is like a hundred bucks, I think. Uh, you can get the free trial for zero. Uh, personal, uh, if you want to just buy it, not the student discount, um, three hundred. Yeah. Which it's it's software. The, the nice thing is that it's not a subscription. You own it forever, which is a pretty unique thing to a lot of other programs. That sounds really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Pamela. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So most of the time what I tend to do, with chords at least, this is just sort of a method that I saw from a video, is you want to literally make it go in and out. So if you look, you'll notice that the first four, the first chord is those four notes in that little cluster, then it bunches into the three and then it expands back out. Right. It's a pretty common method where you want chords to basically literally progress in a direction. So what I could do, and the reason why I wanted to add that really high note, is because it can be good to add where it further extends out, like yep. keeps going out this way or keeps going in this way, if that makes sense. Right. So chords, as they get more open, will literally sound more open. Yeah. Um, so if you wanted a sound to build in gradually, mm -hmm. would it get better to have a bunch of yeah, these smaller sounds going up in tone? We have the volume. There are a couple of different ways you can do that. You can either do a very just simple, literally make it come in, like just literally get louder, because you can set automations. I click right click on this dude. You can do show automations and add little presets of moments where something will get louder. Because I've set it now where the decibel will be way lower at first. Probably not that quiet at first. It's a bit too quiet. Yeah. So I could do that. Uh, one of my favorite methods and how I tend to do like stuff coming in uh, is I like to use. There we go. Um, I like to use uh, an equals three. This is this one specific program, which this is a specific channel, which lets you basically yank out. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. Cool. Thanks. It lets you take out any of the low midis. High. A lot of the time, if you listen to any sort of like lo-fi, hip hop, whatever genre of music, or have you ever listened to um, like future funk at all, anything like that? I'm not a huge music buff, so I don't know like if by name. It's that sound where it sounds like it's underwater. That one where if you listen to it right now, I'll. I can mess with the low frequency, make it sound like it's basically underwater, and just... And what might sound really good on top of this is an arpeggio.
Look up musical items. Arpeggio is just means that it goes between each of the different. So an arpeggio is um so you'll have notes in a general structure in a bar. For right now, we'll say this is This is a very poor drawing, but yeah, and I can't remember how to do stash, rough, whatever the fuck. Uh, when it's a, a single note, this is a C. This is how you can always remember it. I forgot how to draw it. <laughs> So I gave up. You have real music experience. Oh. Like, Landon, do you need help? I heard you a trouble cup again. That's where the G spot is. <laughs> take it back, take it back. Oh, yeah. thank you. Well, I, I think it's, it's easier to make it go wrong with G. Do it both ways. Um, but Wait, no. God damn it. Right. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Oh, no. All right, so whenever you're doing a chord, this is a single note, and if you want to do a chord, it's three notes in a specific pattern. Every single time, it will always be between these notes. On one side is all of like the music I So a basic chord will be one, three, five. It's the third note in it, and this is the fifth note of said scale. So of the scale, you have C. D. Here's the thing. 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 Um, other chords will use the second and fourth, but you don't need to get into that. Um, whenever it comes to an arpeggio, what an arpeggio does is it will just go between each of these notes up and down. That's all it is. It's just, it's just going up and down those notes. Yes. What will go one, three, five, eight. Eight is one. There's only eight notes in a scale. They're in like a basic scale. So it will, it will bounce between these notes and just keep going back and forth. That's an arpeggio. Um, and it's one of like the basic concepts and how to make things sound nice. And one of the best parts about Ableton is that it has programs that let you just automatically add in arpeggios. And if I just take the cathedral keys, put that in here. Um, just automatically does it for you. Um, you're probably gonna make it a lot faster. Thing. You said, like, writing for, like, Adele, so, like, do you want to focus on any one of these things? How to work. I actually, I couldn't hear it. I couldn't either. Oh, it wasn't on, that's why. It's not right now. It, it, no, it doesn't even sound good either. Um, I still can't hear it. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want to do. This is a very basic loop, um, so it could work as just this would be the entire boss theme uh, if you wanted it to be for any song. Because at this point, it's you could just have that end here. Yeah, it's it's totally up to you. Um, let me try. Like, yeah, let's go full break core and see if it sounds decent if I go to like 170. I like that. <laughs> and you can always just mess with the tempo of things to see if it sounds nice or, or bad. Um, I think I might walk around to help some more people out. Uh, Tommy or Cam, do you want to take a turn? All right. You want to take a turn? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, no, it's no, no, it's 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 it happens sometimes. Uh, we're just doing some stuff on music. Uh, we gave a little uh, talk on just like different concepts and stuff. And we just want to let everyone loose because we figured that would be a, a pretty simple way to do that. Um, but uh, uh, we're each going to be kind of making something up here in the meantime as well. Yeah. I'm sure I think. Um, we also five. minute. Okay, so you haven't missed too much. Um, we had a little gameplay analysis workshop, uh, which is like gameplay design decision and stuff. We talked about. We looked at some games submitted by people at the club that they wanted to be talked about uh, during the presentation. Uh, I talked about things that were like good design decisions, things that could be improved, stuff like that. Um, and Any sore thumbs there? Anything that sticks out? Um, nothing really. Uh, it was, everyone kind of talked about their piece. Some people liked some of them, some better than others. The main thing that was notable about the workshop people liked the most was at the end. Uh, we had like an exercise where we just spun a bunch of wheels and had the entire classroom basically uh, just kind of come up with a game design yeah. or like something that would be like a game jam, for example. And I thought that was a pretty clever uh, sort of idea uh, for like a group activity. Uh, besides that, the week before was the 3D art workshop uh, by Jade. Uh, and uh, just some information on how to use Blender uh, and stuff like uh, which uh, yellow shirt, jacket, yeah, uh, or sweater, one of those things with the eggs on it. Um, yeah, that's what happened the last few weeks. Um, it's still kind of early in the semester. Uh, there was a uh, global game jam uh, over this last weekend. Yeah, uh, so that happened. Uh, we have our main game jam come starting up uh, on the fourteenth. Uh, and it's going to be two weeks instead of three this time. Usually we do three week jams. Have to participate in it. Please do. Uh, we, I mean, obviously, it's, we will start the same time as our meetings normally do. You can come up here. Landon was just done. So I haven't started yet. You, you can play. You can cook. Um, I don't know. Cam, do you want to cook? You can cook. <laughs> I was trying to think of an idea and I couldn't think of one, so thank you for doing it. Oh, okay. What idea do I want to have? Uh, boss. Boss music? Boss. Okay. Dark Souls. Give me a Dark Souls boss. That's, oh. that's different. Yeah, okay. Oh. All right, so let's let's go ahead and get get vocal. Oh, yeah, all right. Like that. Okay, cool. That works. Um, where are they? They're there. Um, uh, oh, I I remember. I don't like these. Um, don't worry, they're just, bad. Let's just do it. Yeah, this is the alto one. I gotta look at uh, you know what? You are you are Soprano two is the alto voice. I don't I don't care. I don't want to do Dark Souls. You don't. No, I do. That's a good idea. Your idea already happened. Um, where is base? Where is base? Why are they not alphabetized? Uh, why would they? And Thomas, where is base? They can search. Yeah. Like in the search bar. Yeah. That might. I'm not sure if that's a bass singer or a bass uh, something else. It's a bass singer. Oh, he's great. A, oh, it's sweet. Okay. Um, Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Uh, it's like orchestras. Like you're gonna want like uh like either two bar bass drum bar or something. Uh, violin strings. Uh. Uh. Let's. Uh, we're not doing. We're not doing that crazy. Um. Uh, and then we'll go. We'll go brass. Let's just pretty safely say uh. Trumpet. Horn. Trumpet. Horn. Let's go. Trombone. Mellophone bugle. Uh, 
Ah, uh, yeah. Chess. No. Uh, Same day contraband. Uh, Let's go trombone. Base trombone. Tube unspecified. Great. Uh, All right, Thomas. What was your what was your what would sing your thing again? Oh, oh, oh. okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's good. Oh, okay. We'll figure that out later. What key is that in? I think it's in B flat. Let's find out. My brain going to B flat makes sense considering I've been in band. Is it playing on there? Oh, maybe not. Um. Uh, it was playing earlier, so musical on universe? Oh, probably. Uh, F E Prefies. Yeah, Wait, what is it? Let's do something loud. I think I heard that from there. Yeah. Where do you hear it? I hear it somewhere. Uh, okay, great. It's very sweet. I just had to turn up a little bit. Sweet. I ended it down a little lot for the uh, synth stuff. Oh, because Landon's stuff is loud. Because Landon writes loud music. You need something or you just chilling? He's just chilling. Awesome. Yeah. Nothing he's on his laptop, so we just watch him. That's uh, valid. Didn't forget so much as I, oh. was, I went to a, a different club before this, so I didn't need it. Oh, I see. Their meeting doesn't run the whole time. So. Thomas said B flat minor. B flat minor? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. Uh, game design. Uh, uh, arranging, arranging is hard. Uh, actually, let's get the let's get a, let's get our, our situated. The lying is over now. All right, sick. I want to see the last ten minutes probably. If I can see if anyone wants to show me. And then uh, okay, actually, it was A. Was A? It was A. Oh, sweet. Also, writing an A minor sounds a lot more fun. That does sound more fun. Yeah. It's fun because it's in C. What is that, like 160? Uh, depends on your perspective, I suppose. So loud. I, th I think doing it in doubles is fine. So let's just say like 158. Yep. Anyways, um, the metronome is very loud. Yeah. Uh, so these are all uh, trick, trick of the day. Trick of the day. Copy. Uh, face double duration. Uh, and then let's go. Uh, yeah, go, go grab Adam real quick. Um, dynamics. Let's go fortissimo. Uh, and that's not very loud. I want everything there. Sick. Why is it no? Yes, I do. A. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I kind of, I know what Thomas told me. I know what he's saying. And I, we have to do that. Um, and I know the kind of harmony that I want to use to do that. It looks like this. Wait, what? What? Oh, that place? Okay. Oh. I can't really hear, to be honest with you, which is kind of hard. Why, uh, you can also turn up my computer, William. 
Yeah, but I don't want to be blasted in front of everyone else out here. No, I can't. All the way up. See? See? This should be... G. Yeah. So it's A. Yeah. C. A. A. Yeah. There you go. Also, they mainly do a comment. Pretty really clearly here. Back Yeah. So you hear it? Like when you hear it. So I brought a lot of comments. Yeah. Sick. Yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of loud over here. Uh, and then you said it goes does the harmonic minor boy. Uh, that's a. I like harmonic minor. It sounds. It does sound good. I can't really argue with that. Uh. It just puts them in the. It puts them towards the middle. I love that one. Wanna go to insomnia cooking? Just a game that I'm working on. Pasty, pasty, paste. You might hear that sword track. Okay. Also, get out of here. This is the main reason to do anything here. Uh gimme. Yeah. So I don't go crazy. So let's do it. Yeah. Uh, that's loud as fuck. Tuba jump scare. Sorry, guys. Uh, I I changed my mind. Not you. You're gone. Face drop. out of your range. It's a trombone. lives up in the ledger way, but yeah, he'll do it. He'll do it. Wait, what is what is what is Mariana doing? Oh yeah, no, don't even bother. No, it does, but don't even bother writing in the staff for it. It's it's all ledger lines. A lot of that just comes from being in band and knowing who likes what, because like. If you write trombone parts below the staff, they're just like, I hate you. But if you write bass trombone parts above the staff, they're like, I still hate you, actually. <laughs> just hate you. Do is you can write that low and then have the APA thing on tap. You're telling me just you're writing an octave. Multiple tattoos Oh, okay. On that note. Yeah, it will do it. Do it. That's why I just make a little joke. That's loud as fuck. But. It is more meant to be. Oh, it's tenor. It's tuba. Yeah. Tuba, uh, tuba, tuba, tuba. Is, uh, is for, for your musical purposes? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, music score is like intended mostly for people who want to like, uh, like range music that people can read. Uh, yeah. But it has playback, but isn't that bad anymore? Yeah. Yeah, music score is pretty good. I haven't gotten to see all the different choices. Well, should I like? There's lots of like new voices that you can use. You can like read one, two, three, four, five. And it's like less than like wasted space. Uh, 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 this was satisfying to do. I'm gonna read mostly I will be the easiest to schedule for out. Uh, this is gonna half note. Oh,
It looks like Saturday might be the one of the player. Yeah. Let me just say that. that was done. Okay, mm. thank you. Oh, Thanks. Don't know why they did that. Oh, I took it out of concert, bitch. I was like, why, what the fuck happened? Thank you. What? Did you just send one? Everything you're doing. Oh, for the next meeting? No, no, no. For the uh, for So it's on a bonus day. So Oh, sorry. That means nothing to me. So I didn't think about it. I don't not have class that day. I, in fact, still have work that day. It's in meetings, man, but I, I, it's only for current members, so you don't get to one. Okay. I'm just very curious. You're not important. It's like, what are you doing? Like, I'm out. And then we go here. And then we go. You still have me in, like, full up time. What's on? Ah, we really like that, actually. Uh. Um, I think it's going to be a really good record. Wait, okay. So, oh, it's, it's good. what was your major? Uh, computer science. Computer science. Okay. But like, I've been writing for a long time. Okay. Uh, if you if you've been around here for a while, okay. you've no, probably no. heard things I've written. Okay. What's your name? Yeah. Seth. You always feel like bad names. We can, by the way. Terrible names too often. Awesome. Uh, that's A. That's C. Please hold notes, please. I. Do something music related, which is write music. Um, I mean, like, yeah, as a major, um, yeah, I do, I do, I do coding shit. Uh, undergrad. Oh. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Do that. Uh, pull that out. Yeah. Uh, days of time are free. Uh, and then, then see what day and time is. I'm guessing what you can see. Okay. So, oh. I'll let you hear it. I'll let you hear it. We're in this. E all I was like, I, I just very briefly overheard that. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like a little lone tune. I was like, what could this be? I'm a, yeah, I'm pretty sure we know that one. Go ask Landon about it. It's funny. Uh, no, what the hell? Okay, oh. redo that. Okay. How does that sound? That was the goal. Thomas told me to write Dark Souls boss. So. Yes. It is time for you to, to fight Weeping Dragon. I don't know who that is. I love Imagine Dragons. Yeah, that's basically it. I kept like replaying it like Oh, I love that for it. Whether or not. Uh, uh, I see. So I, I should save the base drop for later. I know Zach, Jack was tempting me, but uh. We're saving it till now. Uh, loud. That's actually going to be really loud. I don't know if I want it to be that loud. Uh, 
Because like, oh, uh, uh, nah, shut up, singing lady. Yeah, it's a little bit awkward. Like, so like oh, up here like there's a but it is kind of okay you try to you get used to it and then you just put it on it you're not like you work on it yeah sick all right yeah just time to read that oh it's just go with that and just bring it out and into a dislike Oh, I remember those. I like, it's not too bad. It's just kind of right here. Yeah, yeah. It's busy work, really. I have a short test. That's not even your candidate. I mean, compared to the last one. I am glad to be a huge problem. Uh, we'll copy that again. Although, again, but yeah, it's a good one. Uh, Always use the problem with this. Half my time is spent. You don't want to play on the Oh, uh, oh, I turned your lips. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do it. Got zero. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Cappy. Cappy. Um. No, I told you. Copy sides. Which is really interesting. You get to be important now. Um. Oh, you're trying to have a that's gonna maybe sound a little icky. That sounds really icky. I hate how I have to keep hearing it because I keep accidentally clicking on it. Yeah, shut up. Oh, what a, uh, G. Uh, let's go flat seven. Uh, flat seven, three will go up to four. Uh, one will go up to Who are you? One. You're gonna stay on one because I don't care about you. I mean, the train Uh, let's go. Sure, thanks. That's not the only way I'm easy, anyways. The self roast. Uh, let's go C. Let's go A. Let's go F. That's base class. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Let's see how that sounds. Oh, it's so loud. It should be long. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I Okay. Do we want to have people show the things that they want to? Yeah, sure. Uh, or do we want to just like shepherd people to the Golden Dragon? Anyway? I'll go ahead. Yo! If anybody wants to share the stuff they've done, now is the time to share the stuff that you've done. All at the same time. N no. <laughs> we will take two or three volunteers if any brave souls. Fix, like, two notes. I'll go first while Lainey stalls. Yeah. Thomas asked me to write Dark Souls music, so I did. Oh, yeah. I'm glad that me screaming like a maniac earlier turned into this. I've never played Dark Souls more than uh, at someone else's house.
Uh, and then I ran out of time. Anyways, <laughs> you can kind of see where it was going with that. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mr. Adam. Would you like freestyle the name of the boss that this played? Uh, this is this is for Erdwin the Great, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Scourge of the Deep. Uh, Erdwin the Great, Scourge of the Deep. Yeah. Uh, hated by many. <laughs> hated, uh, uh, enemy of few. Yeah. <laughs> he was a nice guy. He just... He just didn't get the memo. It had to had to be cast to the, the shadow realm, and uh, you find him on your way down because he tried to come back up, and uh, he tripped because his shoelaces were untied. He actually had the most the most recent in medieval footwear technology. Okay, I was about to say I'm not sure if I could stall for much longer by vamping on this guy and his shoelaces. Was that? Yeah, uh, you're after Laney. Sure, you're after Laney. Come on after that, if we still have time. Calling in, like, five minutes ago. You're free to just honestly unplug. Uh, sorry, stream. Uh, so we can plug you in. Uh, and Muscore might need to switch the audio device. That's fine. Uh, I don't know how to do that, but... Uh. If you call it up in Muscore, obviously, that'll probably work, too. But see if any sound happens, for example. Yeah, what I want to call. Okay, so go to edit, edit. preferences. Yeah, I O. Change that to that. Okay. All right, cast time. Yeah. Uh, we better to check audio media devices. Oh. Uh, I just, I, I just, just did it. It didn't work. Uh. Is your volume on? Oh, I should no. <laughs> and okay. send it should it be all the way up or should it be? That's there? fine. All right, cool. Oh wait, we already transferred the volume. There you go. Yay! Yes. We need to fix the base note a little bit. <laughs> I like this book part. Yeah. Oh, All right. She's not pretty good. Vibes have been halfway through. <laughs> Vibe change. Vibe change. Okay. Yeah. We've got time for uh, one or two more. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, are we all talking? All talking? All How do I go? Okay. Yeah. Um, there's a lot. Let's say but here's like, like, like I don't know where the port is. Whatever you have, something to the science. Share your work channel. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll all go look at them when we get there. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, to make sure your speaker yeah. is set to uh, yeah. one of those. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. I'm going to go into uh, FLC. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. Uh, 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 one, two, or three. Uh, okay. Why? Uh, in what sense? Oh, number two. Okay. Oh, God. Oh god, it's so loud. Mm -hmm. Made this before today, particularly. Yeah. <laughs> have to check. I always have to check. Sometimes people just be doing that, right? <laughs> ah. I love that film. Yeah, you can. You can tell me a policy. Like, actually, it's fantastic. Like, the warm-up, normally I'd be, like, so quick about sound. It's so good. Like, oh, hey, all right. Yeah. 
No, I just got late. I went into the The guitar sounds so much better than Ableton's. Alright, I'm probably just going to log into you. Alright. We got five seconds. Thanks. Alright, that's pretty really good. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's about all the time that we have. Uh, but uh, if any of you want to share it with something you worked on today, feel free to send that in the Share Your Work channel. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll all take a look and we'll all love it. I love that. Right. Yeah. 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 Forgot to stop the stream. I just lost my laptop. Uh,